Hello, good evening. Okay, thank you for being here. <laughs> good evening. Okay, thank you for being here. I I know that um we have finished classes already. I'm so sorry for that, but actually we have to continue. Actually, we have a technical issue, right? We didn't record, um, or actually the Zoom didn't record, uh, or there was a problem there that I wasn't able to upload the class. So that's why we're having an extra class. But uh, it, it's not going to be the same class. I don't want you to think that it's going to be like the same, or you're going to be doing like the same thing. Uh, it would be just more like extra practice, uh, that's what I have prepared for this hour, like extra hour. So we can do this, like just to practice reading, listening, and a little bit of grammar, right? So that's what I will like to do tonight. And uh, we are going to start with, um, well, actually we have studied the defining clauses, relative clauses, defining and non-defining clauses. So that's why we are going just to do just one exercise. And then we're going to have a reading, a listening, and a quiz, right, about vocabulary at the end, if, if we still have time. So thank you for being here, Jensi, Claudia, Zulma, Beatriz, Jose Francisco. I think that is going to be less people now because yesterday we were uh finishing the classes right but actually this is just an extra practice it's not nothing it's nothing new it's not something that we haven't seen so that's what we're going to do right now let me see here okay this is the exercise that we're going to complete this is the only exercise uh this one we didn't complete it in class so we can complete it right now so I'm going to read just some um, sentences, right? And we need to complete them. For example, the first one, we need to combine two sentences using a non-defining relative plus. For example, our neighbors are both teachers. They work at the same school. So how do we combine it, right? We can say our neighbors, comma, who are both teachers, comma, work at the same school. So you see that they are, we combine two sentences into one using a non-defining relative plus. So that's what we are going to do today. Uh, we have six. So we are going to complete number two, right? So it says Pablo Picasso's best known painting is Guernica. He was born in Malaga in 18. 81. So uh, what would be the, um, the sentence like with a non-defining relative clause? How, how can we combine the two of these? Who knows? Mm, perhaps Pablo Picasso, whose best known painting is Guernica, was born in Malaga. Was born in Malaga, very good, in 1881. Perfect, exactly. Now, we are going to do the same with number three. It says, Canberra is the capital of Australia. It's smaller than Sydney and Melbourne. So how can we combine the two sentences? Canberra, which is the capital. Uh -huh, the capital of Australia. It's smaller than Sydney and Melbourne. Very good. Melbourne. It's, yes, it's smaller than Sydney and Melbourne. Very good. Number four, our local post office has closed down. I used to work there. So how can we combine the two of them? Our local post office
which or where where I used to work has closed down. That would be the, the best option, right? Our local post office where I used to work has closed down. Number five, Lionel Messi is possibly the most talented soccer player of his generation. He was born in Rosario in Argentina. So what, how can we combine it? Lionel Messi, who was, uh -huh. Uh -huh. who was born in Rosario in Argentina, is possible the most talented soccer player of his, of his generation. Very good. Lionel Messi, who was born in Rosario in Argentina, I'm oh, sorry, Argentina is possibly the most talented soccer player of his generation. Very good. And the last one, the hurricane caused millions of dollars worth of damage. It was the worst for over 75 years. So it is the hurricane, comma, which was the worst for over 75 years, comma, cost millions of dollars worth of damage. So you see, we need to include the extra information there as a clause, a non-defining relative clause, and that's how we, com uh, we can combine two of them. We can, remember that we can do this to write better, to express, to express our ideas better, right? Instead of uh, doing like a lot of sentences or writing a lot of sentences, we can do this, right? It is more fluent, right, for English language. Do you have any question about these exercises? Preguntas? No, right, everything's clear? Okay, perfect. Now we're going to have a practice, right? We're going to practice the listening and we're going to practice um, the, we're going to practice the, the reading. So for the reading, I need you to, to help me, right? We have here, let me see here. It says, read the text for questions one to six, choose the correct options or A, B, or C. So we already have this reading here. It says, curriculum vitae, tip that can help. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we are, let's see here, 10. So very good. We are going to check right now or English, right? And we are going to, let me see here. It says, teacher, good evening. I'll be listening since I haven't come yet. I'm still on my way. Okay, Nady, no problem. So we are going to uh, check right now this reading. Let me see. Are you able to read it? La pueden leer? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Just let me make sure because sometimes the, it's a little bit, Small. Okay, I think that's enough. Very good. So this is the reading, okay? It says, um, curriculum vitae tips that can help. I volunteer to read the first paragraph from six out until opportunities, job opportunities. Me, okay, Me. go ahead, please, Rosa Maria. Six out. Of ten CVS, which are prepared by information technology professionals, fail to meet the basic standards and are turned down without even being read fully, according according to a recruitment company. 
as a consequence, thousands of candidate candidates are excluding themselves from attractive job opportunities. Very good, perfect. So this paragraph is talking about how uh, CV is. CV is a curriculum vitae, right? It's a resume, it's a curriculum. So this is like uh, talking about professionals, like what are the standards, right? What, what we need to do to create a very good CV or curriculum, right? So candidates, many candidates, thousands of candidates are excluding themselves from unattractive job opportunities because of the CV. Let's see, uh, who wants to read the second paragraph? Also until errors. Me. Okay, go ahead, please, Jose. Although the company handles over 60,000 CVs per year, it estimates that at least 60% will not be admitted if they were sent directly to potential clients due to basic errors. Very good, perfect. So it's it, it seems that many people is doing uh, a lot of mistakes, right? And 60% 60 60 will not be admitted right, if they were sent directly to potential clients. Okay, who wants to read the number four? I can. Okay, yeah. go ahead, please. Okay, the company marketing direct director says, sadly, it's often the most highly qualified candidates who CVs are so poorly constructed that they are literally dead on arrival attractive job opportunities in the IT industry often generate uh, intense sorry mm -hmm. competition competition or competition competition uh -huh. oh, okay competition and there is often leader to choose between the candidates very good perfect so here you're saying that um like many, many people, they do like poorly constructed uh, CVs, right? So they lack of job opportunities, very good. So actually this reading is about this, right? About like the competition and also how can you apply with the curriculum, very good. But wants to read the number, let's see, five. From advice onto your clients. Me, I can. Okay, Zuma, go ahead, please. Yeah, advice, verdad? Yes, please. Advice on the presentation format of CVs in relation uh, to the requirements that they are begin submit for should be an industry standard so as to add real value to the candidate that you are representing and indeed to fulfill your professional obligation to your client. Very good, very good, perfect. Who wants to read the next one? Writing until impression. Another volunteer? From writing a CV until impression. Okay, I can, I can do it. Okay, go ahead, please. Writing a CV can be extremely difficult and too often a CV turns out to be a generic overview, including a lot of information that is irrelevant. People should remember that an employer typically spends between 15 and 30 seconds scanning each CV and you have that one change, chance to make an impression. Very good. And the last one. Who wants to read the last paragraph? One volunteer. Nobody? Okay, I can read. No okay, go ahead, please, Rodrigo. Uh, no, COVID. Okay, from a good CV until outline. Okay. A good CV is more than just documentation of your career path. 
it is uh, marking to the scene to the person your professional career experience according to be in your job specification. I should also include the time of past professional success that effectively demonstrative your ability to undertake the job responsibility on limit. Outlined, very good, perfect. As you can see, this is a very, um, um, it's more advanced, right? This kind of English because it's a very formal uh, article. So we are going to check if we understood the main idea. Let's see. We have just six questions, right? Recruitment companies say that potential clients make basic mistakes, only get 60% of CVs or reject CVs with mistakes. What is the best option, A, B, or C? What is the best option? Who knows? Only get 60% of CVs. Okay, let's see. Now we are going to check the responses at the end, okay? At the end, very good. Number two, the marketing director said that the best candidates are the most affected, do not send CVs, write the best CVs. Are the most affected? Okay, very good. Letter A. Let, let's see the next one. Their marketing director suggests that candidates ought to pay attention to CV's presentation, other companies, or other competitors. CV's presentation. CV's presentation. CV's presentation. Okay, letter A. Very good. Many people agree to that. Number four. The marketing director says that very often CVs include necessary details, unimportant information, or very little information. Unimportant information. Unimportant information. Okay, let's see. Letter B. Next one. Candidates should remember that employers are typical people, are very busy people, or make an impression on people. Are very, very busy people. Are very busy people. Okay, many, many of you agree to letter B. Very good. And the last one. A good curriculum should show the new job specifications, your marketing tools, or your overall skills? Sorry, I forgot what is overall? Overall, like your general skills, like all of your skills, oh. right? Perhaps Maybe. letter C, your overall skills. Your overall skills? I agree, yeah. I agree, okay, perfect. Let's see how much we did in this test, reading test. Let's see, check answers. Okay, we did very good. Actually, five out of six. We have like an 83%, like an 8.3, right? Let's see. This one, the first one is, I think that is the incorrect one, right? The correct one was recruitment companies say that potential clients reject. Okay, sorry, reject CVs with mistakes, right? So mm -hmm. if they see like a mistake or it's not well written, right, that can happen. Okay, let's check the next one. So let's see. Okay, the, the next, the, the, the others are correct. So. so no problem. You did very good. Very good, perfect. How do you feel this exercise? Is it difficult, so-so, um, easy? So-so. What is the most difficult part about this? Try to remember what we read. 
And what else? And what else is difficult? Only remembering or vocabulary? The two things. Both things, right? Very good. Exactly. <clears throat> so in this case, to acquire more vocabulary, we need to read, right? We need to read more um, things that you like, right? Because you're not going to read something boring but it can be very advanced. As you can see, this is information about curriculum details, but you can read different topics. You can use this um, webpage, testenglish.com. Sorry. And you can see here, listenings, readings, and grammar, okay? So you can use this page to continue doing that um let me see here one moment please What is the name of the web page? The web page? Yeah. Uh, the web page is, let me see here, Test English, I guess. Let me see. Okay. So, Jeff, uh, you asked me about what kind of job I, I'd like, but what Sorry. about. Yes, it's this one, testenglish.com. Testenglish.com, yes. Okay, now we're going to listen to uh, a video, sorry, and we're going to answer some questions, okay? So pay attention, please. So Jeff, uh, you asked me about what kind of job I'd, I'd like, but what about a job you definitely wouldn't want to do? There's lots of jobs out there and some of them aren't so good. So what would you not want to do? That's a difficult question. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like working, period, really. Yeah, but um, who does? Yes, that's right. But I think the um, a type of job that I wouldn't like to do would be an office job, mm -hmm. a straight desk job mm -hmm. um, where it's just task work, where you get paper. Um, Maybe sort of like an accountant, where you're doing nothing but sitting at your desk, uh, sort of by yourself all day, crunching numbers or um, putting things into the computer. I think it's very um, antisocial, uh, a little bit boring, not so healthy. Um, and even if the pay was good, I still wouldn't want to do it because um, you're compromising uh, your life, which is short, to do something that, that's not so fun. So... Maybe a desk job, something at a desk I wouldn't like to do. I How about you? What what job would you not like to do? Well, to be honest with you, I, I don't think I would make a very good police officer. I really wouldn't want to be a police officer. I know it's exciting and uh, it's always different, but I kind of feel like I'd be judging people. Mm. And I'm not anti-police. I think they, they're, they're needed, but... Sometimes I don't agree with everything that a government believes in. Mm. And I think it would be difficult for me to be busting people for some things that mm. I don't agree in yeah, with. I, I and, and I think that, you know, it's a hard job. It's a hard job mm. and you've got to deal with, you know, people that maybe need help in different ways than mm. some, a police officer just, just coming and put them in jail. Yeah, I agree. The, 
another thing sort of related to police officer is I wouldn't want to be a nurse oh, or really? a doctor. Oh, I'm surprised. I think it's a great job, um, and it would be rewarding to save people's lives or, or to make them better if they're sick, to make them healthy again. But I hate blood. Oh, really? I can't stand blood. So if there's, uh, I, I can't even stand someone with a bloody nose. Mm. Awesome. So I think in a situation where there's any blood around, I wouldn't be your man. Well, I think another job that I wouldn't want to be is a garbage man, to be honest with you. Oh, a garbage man would be great. I understand. Like, I like the idea of driving from house to house. I think I would be a great uh, post office worker. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't mind the manual labor of just lifting stuff up and it's stuff. It's smelly, though. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. I think the smell would really get to me. And yeah. like, kind of like you were with blood, I think eventually that smell sometimes would make me sick. And you'd be surprised what people throw away, you know, <laughs> needles, all kinds of yeah, things, that's true. dirty diapers, things like that. I don't think I could deal with that very well. Okay, so you'll never be a garbage man and I'll never be a nurse. Ah, fair enough, I suppose. Okay, very good. Do you want to listen to it again? Or are you ready for the questions? I need to listen again. Listening again. Okay. So this time we're not going to listen in. Uh, we, we read some subtitles. Were you able to check the subtitles? Yes, right? Now we are not going to uh, check the subtitles. We are not going to see the subtitles. Okay. So we are just going to listen and then we are going to answer questions about the video. So we are going to play it again. Let's see. So, Jeff, uh, you asked me about what kind of job I'd, I'd like, but what about a job you definitely wouldn't want to do? There's lots of jobs out there, and some of them aren't so good. So what would you not want to do? That's a difficult question. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like working, period, really. Yeah, but um, who does? Yes, that's right. But I think the um, a type of job that I wouldn't like to do would be an office job, mm -hmm. a straight desk job, mm -hmm. um, where it's just task work, where you get paper. Um, Maybe sort of like an accountant, where you're doing nothing but sitting at your desk, uh, sort of by yourself all day, crunching numbers or um, putting things into the computer. I think it's very um, antisocial, uh, a little bit boring, not so healthy. Um, and even if the pay was good, I still wouldn't want to do it because um, you're compromising uh, your life, which is short, to do something that, that's not so fun. So... Maybe a desk job, something at a desk I wouldn't like to do. How about you? What, what job would you not like to do? Well, to be honest with you, I, I don't think I would make a very good police officer. I really wouldn't want to be a police officer. I know it's exciting and uh, it's always different, but I kind of feel like I'd be judging people. Mm. And I'm not anti-police. I think they, they're, they're needed, but... Sometimes I don't agree with everything that a government believes in. Mm. And I think it would be difficult for me to be busting people for some things that mm. I don't agree in yeah, with. I, I and, and I think that, you know, it's a hard job. It's a hard job mm. and you've got to deal with, you know, people that maybe need help in different ways than mm. some a police officer just, just coming and put them in jail. Yeah, I agree. The, another thing sort of related to police officer is I wouldn't want to be a nurse. Oh, or really? a doctor. Oh, I'm surprised. I think it's a great job, um, and it would be rewarding to save people's lives or, or to make them better if they're sick, to make them healthy again. But I hate blood. Oh, really? I can't stand blood. So if there's, uh, I, I can't even stand someone with a bloody nose. Mm. Awesome. So I think in a situation where there's any blood around, I wouldn't be your man. Well, I think another job that I wouldn't want to be is a garbage man, to be honest with you. Oh, a garbage man would be great. I understand. Like, I like the idea of driving from house to house. I think I would be a great uh, post office worker. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't mind the manual labor of just lifting stuff up and it's stuff. It's smelly, though. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. I think the smell would really get to me. And yeah. like, kind of like you were with blood, I think eventually that smell sometimes would make me sick. And you'd be surprised what people throw away, you know, <laughs> needles, all kinds of yeah, things, that's true. dirty diapers, things like that. I don't think I could deal with that very well. Okay, so you'll never be a garbage man and I'll never be a nurse. Ah, fair enough, I suppose. Okay, very good, perfect. So now we're going to check the, the answers, right? Let's see. Not the answers, the questions, right? 
let's see here. Okay. This is another page that you can use to practice your English. It's it is called LO.org but with three L's, E L L L O dot org. And you have a lot of listenings there. So you can check them if you want to. We have a lot, uh, actually they have a lot of uh, material, uh, conversations about different topics and you can check them right there. There are a lot of information there. So this is the listening and we are going to answer this quiz, right? Uh, first of all, vocabulary, right? Let's see here. Crunching numbers, right? For example, crunching numbers means that you spend time doing calculation. Crunching numbers. Let's see. That is the antisocial, right? Or antisocial. It uh, means that it does not allow you to see your friends or socialize like a normal healthy person. Judge people means that you make decisions about them based on what you know. To judge people, right? Boss people means that you arrest them, catch them, or give them a ticket. And I wouldn't be your man means that you think that you are not the right person for the job. So we have uh, different things, right, about, about jobs, uh, different vocabulary. Now we are going to go with the quiz. Number one, we uh, they were talking about Jeff and actually the other guy's name is uh, Tim, right? And it says, uh, what does Jeff not like to do? Talking, walking, working, or being bored? Being bored. Being bored, okay, letter D, let's see. Oh, we have multiple choices actually, but we are going to choose only one, being bored. It says, what kind of job will Jeff hate to do? Teaching, office job, accounting, construction work. Office job. Office job, okay, let's see, letter B. Number three, what does Tim say he will be bad at? Being a doctor, being a police officer, being a manager, being an athlete. Being a doctor? Being a doctor, very good, let's see. Four, why would Jeff be a bad doctor or a nurse? He will have to save lives, he will have to work hard, it's too stressful, or he can't stand blood. He can't stand blood. He can't stand blood. Okay, very good. Five. Oh, Why? so uh, yeah. And the third one. Mm -hmm. So he's talking about team. Maybe he's being a police officer. Oh, because they mentioned that, Remember right? You? Yeah, uh -huh. they mentioned that being a police officer because he says that they is good uh, that what they do, but he wouldn't be a, a very good police officer. Very good. And then we have the last one. Why could Tim never be a garbage man? He will have to drive a lot. He hates the manual labor. He can't stand the smell of garbage, or it will be shocking what people throw away. Which we one? maybe we say the manual labor, the manual labor. Okay, let's see. Or now, letter D. Oh, letter it D. It will be shocking. It will be shocking. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have multiple choices here. Let's see. Letter A. It's working. Actually, at the beginning of the listening, he says, "Actually, I don't like working at all." Right. So that's what he says. Right. Let's see. Who so Jeff, uh, you asked yes, me about what kind of job I'd, I'd like, but what about a job you definitely wouldn't want to do? There's lots of jobs out there, and some of them aren't so good. So what would you not want to do? That's a difficult question. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like working. Period. Really. Yeah, but um, who does? Yes. Yes, exactly. Does that? That's why he says I don't like working. Period. Right. That's it. I don't. I don't dream 
about working, I, I, it's not something that I like, right? Very good. Le, number two, actually we have two, right? An office job or an accountant, so very good, perfect. Letter and number three, being a police officer. Very good, Anna, very good. That's what he said, right? Being a police officer. Number four, he can stand blood. And in this one, he hates the manual labor, but actually it was because he can't stand the smell of garbage and it would be shocking what people throw away. Like he wouldn't like to see that, right? It's kind of disgusting. So you can see here also the script. These are the two men talking, Tim and Jeff. And here we have all the script, right? Crunching number, antisocial, judging people. This is the vocabulary, busting people. And you can check it there. So this is a very useful website if you want to practice your, your listening skills. Uh, actually, they have a lot of um, real conversations. So since they are real conversations, it's really helpful, right, to do this. Do you have questions about this quiz? Any other uh, word or anything that you do you didn't understand very well? It was easy. It was difficult. What do you think? Easy, right? Not complicated. Well, actually, what they talk kind of fast, but actually you did very well in the quiz. So very good. And also in the reading. Here we have more readings. If you want to, we have a level A1, elementary, pre-intermediate, intermediate, and you can check any of them and also listenings, right? We have more listenings here. So you can check that information if you want to. Now, uh, for vocabulary, actually, we have another quiz, but it's just like the ones from yesterday. Actually, we, uh, we were supposed to do this in yesterday, but we didn't have enough time, but now we have, right? We have around 20 minutes, but I think that we will be able to do it. So this is vocabulary, right? Let's see. And let's see, I wanted to do something different for this class, but actually I think this, this, this is better, right? Just to practice sometimes is good without a lot of rules or anything like that. So you just practice your English. <clears throat> so what you have to do is just to go to joinmyquiz.com. I will share uh, the information here in, in the chat. And you have to enter 706036. Let's see here. Okay, that is the website. And this is And this is the game code. And what you have to do is just to go to joinmyquiz.com. You will see this that is loading. And then you need to enter your name and enter the code and you will start, right? This is just vocabulary, right? So I think it will be easy. Okay, we have Anthony there. Thank you, Anthony. We're going to wait a couple of minutes. Rosa Maria, very good. Marcela, very good. Okay, who else is missing? Do you want me to wait a little bit longer? Quieren que espero un rato más? Rodrigo, very good. <clears throat> and 
he entrado. Falto ahí. Okay, so man, no problem. I will wait. No problem. No problem. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, I will wait a little bit longer. No problem. I just I need you to tell me right if if you haven't done it. I will share in the meantime. Um let me see here. Who else is there? Number five. Okay, perfect. So I will share the, the information about this. These websites in the in the in the presentation, you will have it there. If you want to check it, it will be in the last slide. So for you to check the websites in case that you are not able to write them right now or you don't, you cannot check it right now, right? So it will be there in the in the presentation that I shared yesterday. It will be there. Okay, we have Zuma and we have Jose Peña, Rodrigo, Marcela, Rosemaria, and Antonio. Somebody else that would like to participate? Alguien más? Nobody else? Okay, perfect. So we are going to begin right now. This is just vocabulary. It's kind of complicated, but we are going to check if we are able to do it. If you have any mistake or problem, no, no problem, right? Uh, actually, we are here to learn this vocabulary. Probably we haven't seen it before, but, but it's related to jobs. So I, th I thought that it was going to be useful. So we are going to start right now. Okay, it says, a paid career training program where students learn on the job in addition to some classroom instructions. What is that? If you don't know the answer, it's okay. It's a paid career training program where students learn on the job in addition to some classroom instructions. It is like pasantía in Spanish, right? Pasantía. Oh, what, how is it called in English? How do you say pasantía in English? A pay car oh. Internship. Okay, let's see. Okay, time's up. Let's see. Apprenticeship, very good. It's apprenticeship, right? Apprenticeship, very good. Exactly, that is the word, apprenticeship. Let's see the next question. Um, let's see. If you don't know, it's okay, right? <clears throat> A letter that you send with your resume to explain your qualifications and interest in a particular job opportunity. And everybody is like, what? <laughs> but no problem. If you don't know, it's okay. Because now we know how to say pasantia, right? Apprenticeship. Okay, let's see. Very good cover letter, right? Cover letter. It's a cover letter. A letter that you send with your resume to explain your qualification and interest in a particular job opportunity. Let's see the next one. A 30 second personal summary with a request. Oh, 
well, I think that we don't have options here, right? A 30 second personal summary with a request. Probably an interview can be possible. No, right? This is like very specific uh, vocabulary. Let's see what is, let's see the response, right? Let's see. Warm up presentation. Okay, let's see. It's an elevator pitch. <laughs> I didn't know the answer either, right? I just thought it was going to be right, like job. Um, vocabulary, but we are going to check the next one. Let's see. Specific knowledge or abilities that let you tackle job specific duties that you learn through courses, vocational training and on the job. Specific knowledge or abilities that let you tackle a job specific duties that you learn through courses, vocational training, and on the job. Well, it is not training because it is already here, right? Magister. Sorry? Magister degree? Ma Magister degree? Como maestría? Como master. Ah, uh, master yeah. degree. Mm, yeah, probably. Let's see. Job specific skill degree. Uh huh. Master degree. Uh huh. Let's see. <laughs> it's hard skills. Hard skills. We have soft skills in, in jobs, right? Soft skills and hard skills, right? Well, I have heard just about soft, soft skills. I've never heard about hard skills, but very good. We are going to have the next one, right? Let's see, next one. Let's see if it is complicated. And if it is complicated, we are going to look for something easier, right? A meet, it says, a meeting to learn about the real life experience of someone working in a field uh, or company that interests you. A meeting to learn about the real life experience of someone working in a field or company that interests you. It's a meeting, una reunión. Let's see. Informational interview, a job interview. Yeah, very good. Very good answers, actually. Interview, okay, let's see. informational interview very good very good perfect let's see the next one we're going to do 10 vamos a hacer 10 porque son 17 creo que no lo vamos a terminar pero vamos a ver a feeling of not belonging or not being good enough especially for people with marginal marginalized identities hello can you hear me Yes. Sorry, I, yes. the connection got lost. I'm so sorry for that. The problem is that I, I'm in a mountain right now. 
and the connection is really, really bad. Sorry for that. But we're almost finished. Actually, I had some uh, responses here. It says depressed person, imposter syndrome. Very good. Exactly. Imposter syndrome. Let's see what is the response. And it was imposter syndrome, exactly, imposter. But remember that when we write imposter, it's not with an O, no es con una O, sino que es con una E, verdad? Imposter, imposter syndrome. Very good, actually, you know a lot about these terms. I am amazed because um, probably you know about uh, a lot about these this kind of terms. Sometimes I don't pay attention to that, but I I've heard I've heard about them. Very good, perfect. So I think that we're going to finish right now the class because my signal is not very good. I'm so sorry for that. Let's see here. I'm just going to share the the links right for the web pages that I mentioned before. And I'm so sorry that I made you come here today because I knew that probably you have plans, probably not, right? But actually, I have some problems with uh, the previous class. As you can see, my connection is not very good. And um, But at least we practice a little bit of English, right? Uh, and I will give you some very good information about these web pages. I will write here links and you will be able to see it. Uh, let me share right now my screen. Hopefully it's not going to get disconnected. Let's see. Okay, these are the web pages that we started with today. Test English and L-O-E-L-L-L-O.org. And you will be able to check that information, right? Um, about test your English skills, as you, as you can see here. You have a lot of material to practice, keep on practicing. Um, if you have time, right? Keep on practicing the listening, the speaking, the reading. And uh, you have a lot of uh, levels here. So you can choose which level is better for you, right? And quizzes, actually, this is another um, website. But quizzes is, is probably just for like quizzes. Sometimes we have lessons there, but it's just to check like a very specific uh, topic, right? Or for example, relative clauses, jobs, vocabulary, things like that. In this case, let me see here. Okay, we're going to finish right now with this. Let me check here. I just want to check who was the winner of this quiz. We have Marcela, Anthony, and Zulma. Very good, Marcela. You know a lot, a lot of, of work ideas and work-related ideas. Uh, what is your job, Marcela? Marcela, can you hear me? No, she disconnected. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Claudia Marcella. Yes. What is your job? What do you do? But I can't speak. Okay, no problem. You work with uh, HR, like human resources, recursos humanos, I learning, programming, and dentistry. Okay. Very good. Very good. Congratulations. Hopefully, uh, you are going to be able to to use all of this, um, all, all of the English actually, right, in your in your job. Very good, very interesting that. Because there, these were like very kind of complicated things because we didn't have any context. So sorry for that. I thought it was going to be kind of easier. So I don't know if you have any other question about this uh, presentation or any of the websites that we visited today, any exercise or anything about previous classes probably or anything that we studied here. Actually, the, this presentation, you already have it, so. 
I don't know if you have checked it or uh, if you have checked already. Yes, no, no questions? Okay, very good, perfect. <laughs> so we are going to finish the class for today. Thank you very much, Claudia, Diego. Let's see, learn. I'm, I've learned, okay, okay, no problem, Claudia. Uh, thank you, Claudia, Diego, Jose Jovito, uh, Jose Francisco, Zulma, Rodrigo, Rosa Maria, and also Nady, Rodrigo Antonio, and Ana Maria, right, probably she disconnected. These are, yes, exactly, Diego, those are the the test, the, 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 the website. So you can start practicing in your free time. And if you have any question, any doubt, just let me know. I will be able to help you. And hopefully I will see you soon, probably. Not that soon like yesterday, right? And today, this was an exception. But I wish you to have a very good um, rest of your week and have a nice evening, okay? Thank you for your effort in completing this level, okay? Thank you and have a nice evening. Have a nice Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you.